welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming by today I'm so happy that you are here today visiting my channel and that makes me so happy that you come by I'm going to give a shout out to Aaron Volner and he is an awesome author check out his book it should be posted down here and there you go and there you go <laughs> and there you go go check them out and if you want them go check them out and his name is Aaron Vollmer so check all his books it's awesome and today we are going to make another gnome it's a request and this is for you guys it's a request about a gnome Halloween gnome theme kind so right now I am going to make this one for you guys as you requested the gnome for Halloween so here you go and I hope you like it and check them out here you go so with this particular item that we are going to make we are going to need a jar rock I always like rock. You can use beans, but over time or rice, over time usually they um, expired, so you don't want that to happen. A rubber band, thread, felt. I choose the black this time. I have some colors, but I want to choose black this time for the theme of Halloween. And let's put that in there. And fuzzies. Like I got this one from a. Um, this one is from this fake beard. That's where I got it from. And I almost used the whole thing. And I think this is the last one for that piece. Used to be long. If you could see that on my previous video. A filler something like if you have a old pillow that you don't like anymore or you want to throw them away you can use the inside part of it of course you you need to wash it before you use this for this particular item vase filler and we are going to use a sock i got this sock from the dollar tree and i use almost all of them and i really really like the sock especially for the size i got this i think it was extra large but i'm not sure you can check on my previous video or if not you can check on my um, description down below i will put them if it is large or extra large all right so that's the sock I have this almost white-ish um, colored of a felt like a I don't know what color but, <laughs> but um, I don't know if I'm going to use this but I think I might use it for a glove for the gnome and this one I'm trying to make the gnome hold this one so hopefully it will work out if not it's fine all right so Let's get started. And of course, don't forget your glue gun. All right, first we are going to start with our sock. I like to cut them right through here in this heel of the sock. So I usually start that way so then if in case I find out I want a smaller size of a gnome, then I would have at least a spare extra space. And I would know the distance, alright? So that could be it. And then let's put this one aside because I'm going to use this for the gnome's hand, alright? That goes in there. Now we are going to grab our jar. And I like I like to use this jar because... It's just making everything easy. And let's put some rock in there first. Rock goes first. There you go. And the filler. You can always add more if you want to. Okay, I think 
think I need more. All right, so it's already filled up and there you go. And I think that's the size that I want. See, that's one of the reason I always like to leave a little bit in there. All right, and then I usually use the rubber band first. If you could see that on my previous video, I usually use rubber band and then the next would be a thread. The reason of that is that sometimes when you just use itself a rubber band, over time your rubber band will give up and you don't want to happen like all of your projects is just going to shatter, especially if you work hard on it. All right, so you always secure it with a thread or somehow a yarn or anything that will hold your item. All right, so there you go. And you can now cut it to a specific height that you like. All right, so I would leave it like that, all right? There you go. All right, next we are going to work on our gnome's nose. I use this vase filler and right now I'm just gonna use this silver. I'm not even going to wrap it with anything. And I used to wrap it with almost, um, with a felt at the same time, but not this time. And I want that in there. And good thing that my glue are preheated, so I just want it like that. I always estimate in every way, guys, especially on my craft project. Because craft are not supposed to be super perfect. Now I'm grabbing my fuzzies. And with this fuzzies is, I like to leave it like that size, but I'm going to cut them like a angle like this just like that so it looks like almost you and now next is I'm going to create a U over here in the side so that I can put my gnome's nose in there And you can throw some of those flying stuff or something that flies everywhere. And yep, yeah, there you go. Usually when I work on this, some little pieces that left on the, my table, I usually use a lint roller because it's so easy to pick up those tiny little pieces. And after that, we are going to glue this below to our gnome's nose. Now you have to put a lot of glue down here below your gnome's nose. All right, so see. And then with this angle of letter U, I'm going to tuck in that beard below that gnome's nose. See, it's getting pretty. And you can secure the top if you want to, so it's not moving. And honestly guys, I like glue gun in either way. Look how cute that is. Oh my, and then you can secure this floppy down in the side. Even though it'll be covered by a hat, you need to secure everything so it's more pretty. And as our theme right now, we are making in gnomes, Halloween gnome. It's a request. Now, next, we are going to grab our gnome's hat. I'm using a black this time. As you can see, there's like fuzzies from that gnome's beard. And what I'm trying to do, since the head of this gnome, I got two pieces in here. And I want them, since it's 
it's not going to I want longer and I'm using only the size of a felt so what I'm trying to estimate is I'm going to meet in this middle right here okay so it'll connect there in that certain area and I am making at least a triangle ish shape of a gnome's hat and I'm just not even going to trace anything I'm just going to estimate so and I'm going to make an angle of a triangle ish kind like what I'm doing right now and like this and I just leave it like that like a little bit of a flat end now you just have to lift that so when you do it you're not confused to where it's supposed to be because if you do that back to back then you are going to get confused and you know what I mean <laughs> I just leave it like so like that like like that angle if you can see what I'm doing so now I'm just going to glue this side all right Alright, so it's all done and I am just going to leave it dry right now and let's just put that hat in that side. Now we are going to work on to our gnome's hand and right now I am aiming to this little scrunchies right there on that side. So I'm going to cut it this way if you could see that on my last video or my previous video I also have a tutorial on how to make that arm of gnome but right now I'm going to show you as well okay so it's almost the same it's just the same so all right so right now i am going to use this vase filler the smallest size of this vase filler one it's the tiniest one i'm gonna use that for this hand it may not look like um the same color but don't worry because i'm going to cover it with this color of a felt so I'm just going to do it like so like that and let's put some more glue stick down here and what I'm trying to do is I'm going to let it be like this so that could be our gnome's hand okay so here we go and we are going to grab our thread and secure that there you go and cut it down all right so you don't have to worry about this black thread that's showing because it'll be covered anyways all right and let's move on to this second one this area is you always want to lock this part like because you don't want frays on the edges of your gnome's arm and I like to secure them real good because I don't want fray showing on arms of the gnome I usually make sure that the thread is not showing 
so it's like that like that and just roll it and there you go and then now you can lock it there you go just pinch it and look at that it looks like our gnome are wearing a gloves and there you go now you can you have your gnome's arm but of course you have to glue it as well and we'll do the next arm isn't that cool there you go there was our first arm and i'm going to make this video faster for the second arm So our arms are done. There you go. And what are we going to do next is we are going to open our hat that we just glued. All right. So you have to turn it inside out. I know it's a little bit hairy. <laughs> so don't worry. We have this um, lint roller. So it's a very awesome gadget for crafting is the lint roller. There you go. There is our hat of our gnome. And right now we are going to try to work on in putting our hat down here on our gnome's hat. See how tall they were? I like it like that because then we can make some scrunchies like we can pull it down. So don't worry about it, okay? So we can work on in our hat even though they look so tall. All right, so then we can move on to our nose, nose closer. Make sure you always start on your nose. Start gluing on the top of the nose of the gnome, okay? so they're more secured first in there in that area all right now they're glued i don't glue down here yet because we are going to work on our gnomes you can also fill it up this way with a um, scrunchies if you want to but right now i'm not going to okay and I want to put this arm down here and tuck it in. And tuck another arm in this side. And you can always estimate it because our gnome is going to be holding this. All right. So we are going to glue that part down here and down here. <laughs> Don't glue these arms yet, okay guys? I just grabbed this little tiny felt down here, cut a little piece, and cut another little piece, so then it holds the gnome's bucket down here and it's not going to be flying everywhere we need to put to secure our gnomes basket so i like to do is i like to cut a little tiny piece in there and try to secure that in that area with that little felt and do that on the other side as well now we are going to put our gnome's arms underneath here. And now.
now we can secure the side of our gnome's arm. I want to secure this area as well on the gnome's beard. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I will. <laughs> and there you go. And what you can do on the top to make them have like little scrunchies is you can bend it like this, like move it like so, just like that. And you can do some like that hat, like a little scrunchies, and you can always play around with it like using your glue gun if you want to, okay? I will, so I will show you how I do it. First, I like to, to gather them below like that, and I just play around, and if I like that spot, I just use a glue gun, and it's going to take time. I'm just going to clean it up like that and clean that up just like that and what I have put down in here guys it's an eek I put a sticker this one and it's by Kern Foster Design and you can use really grab a white sticker on the dollar store if you want to but this is the one that i have right now so i'm just gonna use it i just use the eek for eek right here for my gnome all right and i have another one in here that i made the same pattern but look what i have this gnome has a spider on the end i just connected the thread down here at the way in and I have the ring spider so I just cut the end and secure it with a felt on the back all right so the same way I put a scrunches down here on that side so that's my gnomes number two gnome the same pattern and the same style of what I'm doing and I actually made three of them and right now, what I have to this other gnome is I have this eyeball on his end. Unlike the other one, there's a spider stringy with a black thread on it. This one is I have an eyeball. And this gnome has a glittered felt. And what I did is I just cut a circle of a eye. And I want that in there. And I'm going to cut a little bit of U in there. Because I want the gnome had a tongue. <laughs> I know it's weird, but let's work on it, you know. Let's have fun. Fun, fun, fun. And I'm just going to cut it like so, like how I want it. Just like a letter U. And with these crunches down in here, I might have to tuck the tongue here so that gnome has a tongue and then it just stick in there and then the ice will be right there okay so I'm going to glue this okay like so and I am going to Bend a little down there so that gnome has a tongue on that area. I know it's kind of looking weird, but it will work out. It's a little bit tall either, so let's make it a little bit shorter. So I just tuck it in, in there. So it looks like the gnome's hat has a tongue. There you go. And that is super perfect. And what I'm trying to do with this 
hat is I want to put a boo on this gnome's hat. Okay, so I'm just going to put a boo down here, B-O-O, -O, and I'm just using a Sharpie to color the B. And I'm going to start first on the B-O-O, -O, since it's too O, I'm going to start in the middle down here and secure this with a little bit of a glue in there. At least it will hold it, I hope. And remove that little web. There you go! So that's it. I think that's all the three that I just made and the same procedure and I have the eek and the boot and then the ghost. So I hope you guys like it and see you soon and come back next time. All right. Bye.